inch has arrived. Let's test it out here. Let's take the 11 inch off the legend. Right. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Brand new coil, come on. Let's test it out in the test garden here. Let's see what she's got. Let's see what, see what she can do. Let's put it to a test for you real quick. Brand new coil, right? Brand new coil. I'm not gonna go too tight on it right now. But I'll just uh, put it on here. Go easy with it at first. I don't wanna damage the pins in there. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, get on there. Gotta go easy with it, right? Don't wanna damage it. Right there, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, bring it on. Bring it down. Frickin' bring it on, man. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, turn on, turn on. Come on. Load. Come on. Park program, right here, in the iron. I'll turn the iron on, here. All metal, right here. All ground, balance it. Give it a little chance here, right? 22. Oh, listen, listen to that iron, right? It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain right now. It might be hailing. Okay, park program. Four kilohertz. Five, five inch deep dime in the iron. See, hear all the iron? Right. Four kilohertz. Well, switch to, to multi, multi frequency here. Multi one here. Full gain, 30, full gain. We'll drop it down a little bit here. There's a there's a penny down here on its edge next to a bunch of iron right there. Look at that, 33, 34. I think it's about three, three or four inches deep. Lots of iron, right? Multi-frequency one, 21 gain. 27 gain park program smashing it smashing that five inch deep dime right there right. Let's see what my re reactivity my recovery speed is at here my recovery speed is at 10 I'll try um eight see how it responds to eight There's a penny on, or that, I think it's a dime on its edge, three inches deep in the iron, right? Go over here. Eight, recovery speed, right? Smashing it. All right. Smashing it. All right. That's in park program, multi one. All right. I'll try, uh, try multi two. All right. Listen how fast that recovery speed is on that iron. Boom, 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 right? Five inch deep dime in the iron. I think it might be four inches deep. Now I'll go out over to here, five inch deep dime in the clean ground, right? A little bit cleaner out here. Park program. I'll turn my ground off, or actually all, all metal here. Multi one park program, All right? Five inch deep dime right here. Haven't tried field mode with it yet. I'll go to four kilohertz in park program. Four kilohertz. I'll put try park two. The target's right there, right below that cigarette butt. Right. Now we'll try um four kilohertz. It's probably gonna smash the crap out of it right here. Five inch deep dime in hot soil, right? I'll even raise my recovery speed up here to 10. 
See if it'll still hit it. Sounds a lot deeper, right? I'll go down to five recovery speed, or a uh, six recovery speed. Six recovery speed here. A little bit too slow. So I'll go to seven recovery speed. It's a six inch coil, so. And it's a six inch dime in hot soil, right? I'll go to um, eight recovery speed. It's doing really good at eight. And this is part program, right? Four kilohertz. I'll just uh, switch over to field mode, see how it performs. It's gonna be a lot sparkier, right? So we'll have to drop the gain down a little bit here. Oh, oh um, ground balance it here real quick. A lot of EMI here. See, see this EMI? High EMI spot here too. That's why I like small coils. My recovery speed might be slow. Yeah, my recovery speed is at six, so I'll go to eight here, and I'll turn my iron on, all metal, right here. Put that butt back there, so you guys can see where it's at. Four kilohertz. Let's try four kilohertz. See if it'll smash it. Fifties, forty-eight, forty-six. Get back over it here. That's what I'm freaking talking about right there, right? Comparing this thing to an Equinox, you can't do that with an Equinox, right? You do that with an Equinox or your detector falls over on accident, accidents happen all the time when you're detecting, man. Stuff breaks, but not Nokta products. Nokta products are extremely durable, man. You won't, you won't see any videos on failures of Nokta products, right? On Equinox, how many videos are out there for guys to realize that this machine is cheaper, more durable, and it's about the same performance. And this machine has doesn't even have an update on it yet, right? What's next for this machine? What's the next coil that's gonna come out? I think a five by nine would be good, or even better, like an, a seven or eight inch, an eight inch coil would be perfect for this machine, right? You know, this this, um, this coil have ha, this coil has the ears set back on it a little bit. I'm not really too into coils that, that have the ears set back a long way on there, but this coil is ex is performing extremely well in my hot soil. Did you hear that iron, right? This is the iron, man. Four kilohertz field program here. Five inch deep dime in the iron right there, right? I think it might be four inches. A lot of iron here, right? Hear all the iron? Right, hear all the iron? I'm gonna go out detecting right freaking now.